Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. There are times in our lives where this has happened that you could have been a kid. You can be an adult. Comes a point where you start looking at who's making the rules and you you question authority. Why am I doing this? Why do I have to do this? She looks at all of this as a hayuku. Am I saying no? How, how do you, how do you no. correct this? No, it's just it's just plain old hayoka. Hey, Yoka. Okay. Which is a storyteller. She always has some kind of background story to uh, to offer. She is somebody who's an energy healer, card reader. Uh, she's also a coach in some ways, and she's back with us. Janice Reed is on the program. Uh, she fought the law and the law won. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no. She questioned, she questioned authority. Janice, welcome. And How I, are you? And I won. Uh, yeah, I questioned authority and I won. I did. I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. One of these days, I'm going to get you to figure out that a hey, Yoka is just we're just crazy people. I just happen to be a storyteller. <laughs> oh, boy. And, but and, I got, and a little crazy, too. But that's all good. Well, aren't we all? Well, it, it's part of, you know, that's actually the translation is a crazy woman, crazy person. So um, but it has come to my attention. Even my attention has come to the fact that we must all question authority. Hmm. it's way past time the planet is really i mean i i don't want to be a party poopery thing but we don't wreck the planet most of it's going to go have a serious breakdown a lot of people are going to get wiped off the planet and and it'll be very sad and very very uh tiresome um and tragic and then there's going to be some of us that some of y'all <laughs> that that uh, may make it through barely us barely touched who knows what we've got in the future but something big is a foot it's a big foot a foot why why do you think that is what is what is making you think that uh there's, there's some something big coming our way uh about to affect us about to happen well i'm looking at reality i mean look at the sky it's full of the clouds from canada mm. heck i'm halfway down the country i'm in the middle of you know the, App, the lower Appalachians, almost to Georgia, and there's Canadian dust in my sky. So for too long, we have believed that we have question authority. It came out really cool in the 60s, question authority. It was on everybody's Volkswagen bus. And uh, then it went away, and then it came back out, and it goes in back and forth and stuff. And people think of it as a cute little thing to say, you know, when you don't want to do what your mom says. I don't want to wash the dishes. I will question authority. I will end up in my room for a month. But, <laughs> but the authority that we have relied upon is, is a false positive. For many of us, and I'm going to say us here because I've this is why we're talking about it because it's involved in my life right now, trusting the authority that I thought I had for myself. Hmm. Mm -hmm. gets tricky there it's it's uh leans up against habits it's very near a near neighbor cousin kiss and cousin of of bad habits it's cool when you're when you're paying attention to it but when you let habits slide into your life without realizing that it's a habit see i'm i'm not a Pollyanna kind of person, like everything isn't lovely. Sometimes it just stinks. But uh, but I'm a realist. I'm a pragmatist in some regard. Stuff happens. But I get caught up in my beautiful world. We were talking earlier. It's it's in the lower 70s. There's a nice breeze. It's just rain. The grass is green up to my knees, which isn't saying much. My knees aren't very high up off the grass. But it's beautiful here. The rest of the world is fighting for, for air and dry places and places that aren't on fire. And here I'm sitting counting fishes in the creek, um, living well. But hmm. my world is my world hasn't been threatened like the world of so many other people. And I've been sitting here now and gotten lax and habitual, believing that my world is just a great world. And it snuck up on me and I trusted somebody else's authority. 
Uh, it happens to the best of us. I always want to see the best in people. I know Thanks. that the best is in everybody. And uh, for a lot of people, it's just because nobody ever gave them a chance. So they've never been nice. And I'm that person that will stop and say, hey, how you doing? And uh, talk to whoever's sitting on the street and really, you know, wonder what they're up to. Uh, I stop. And when I say, how you doing to somebody in the grocery store, I wait for an answer. I, I do that sometimes. It annoys other people, but I do it. But I've been questioning now the last few days why I do these habitual things and expect good stuff. Can you give an example of these habitual things that you, you talk about? Well, I habitually think that other people think like I do. Like I think people like science. I think they're somewhat aware of history. Uh, they know things circle and come back again. And so I'm constantly dumbfounded because a lot of people just don't have a clue what I just said. And, uh, and someone close to me recently said something that made me realize, holy cow, I've known you forever, but I didn't know that until, I mean, that's always been there. I've always seen it, but I never recognized it. Hmm. Uh, like one of our uh, illustrious previous leaders face has been plastered all over the side of a particular vehicle that passes my house. <sighs> but the illustrious leader was not reelected. And yet the illustrious leader stayed on this person's side of their vehicle. And I noticed today that as it drove by, there was only the outline left of that image on that vehicle. Even they had gotten <laughs> fed up with the last and previous illustrious leader and had removed what I thought was going to be a, a lifelong love affair. Uh, he changed his mind. He reevaluated his systems. Hmm. It's not that we lie to ourselves, but we forget to reevaluate our systems. And in that way, I let somebody get the better of me. I believe the best of someone when I really should have ordered known better my aunts and uncles talk like that. <laughs> so I'm chastising myself on one hand. And on the other hand, I'm really glad that I caught it now instead of waiting till later. And I look around and I, and I kind of spread that idea around on the globe. And I realize this is the answer to today's question. If we have one, it's, it's really checking our own authority. Why do I say the world is blue is the sky is blue? Okay, now, some people I know would say, no, 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 it's not blue. It's cerulean. It's a shade of azure. It looks as blue as blue can be to me. But no, they'll pick out, you know, one. And that's what it is. And it's not blue. It's that. I'm, I don't split hairs like that. But I know people who do. So when I say I'd like something blue and they bring me this weird shade of gray, you know, it's not blue, but it is to them. I question, I did not question my own authority. I assumed somebody else understood what I said, what I meant. And then I assumed I understood what that person meant. I should have or to ask more questions. Hmm. I did not question my own authority. I thought I would know. I mean, I'm a smart woman sometimes, you know, the Lord's on my side, but I took it for granted just went ahead and did what I always do without checking if it was still a good idea, if that answer still fit. How and do you check? It almost sounds like checks and balances where you're checking yourself based on, you're checking your own authority based on somebody else's authority that you question. Yeah, it's almost like we're, yeah. you're, you're checking yourself. Someone else's, yeah, somebody else's actions their response to something I said or did. Mm -hmm. I expect one response and they come up with this other, something maybe from QAnon or the illustrious previous, but um, people surprise me sometimes. I think I know them and then oh. they'll pop off and come from the blue. And it's because I never asked that exact specific question. So I never got that exact specific answer. And a long time, I've just kind of, rolled along with it. And so did they. And then one day we found out, whoa, 
you know, we didn't, e it didn't equal the same thing to both of us. And uh, we're both kind of in shock about it because mm. it was something easy, like coffee is good in the morning. <laughs> to find out you're talking to a tea drinker. You know, it, it's... <laughs> It I guess it's assumptions too. You just assume when somebody lays down whatever law it is, and I don't necessarily mean an actual law, idea. but they, yeah. you know, whatever it might be, it, when it comes to from somebody who appears to be an authority, and I'm not talking again legally, could be a doctor, could be an acquaintance who you assume has all the answers or the expertise, but maybe they don't, and you don't could question just, it. Yeah. Yeah, it could be just a crazy person in a nice white coat. <laughs> could be a crazy person with pigtails. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. You never know, right? You never know. Um, is it is it about confidence though? Is it about you know finding it, it, within it, yourself, it, trusting yourself? It takes a hit. It doesn't take a lot. Uh, when a person spins and their life is in balance. If you can remember what one of our, okay, I'm old. We had this toy in the olden days called a spinning top. And you flipped it like this and it spun around straight up until it didn't. And it started wobbling and then it would fall down. Yep. Well, a human life is sort of like that. For a lot of us, we pretty much go through our life spinning straight up. You know, we just go, we might press around, but we go our merry ways. For some of us, we fall down easy. Something, it doesn't take much to knock us over. When we're in that balance space, we can start to get knocked over without realizing it. And before, and then we're we're not balanced anymore, like it, like me. I learned something that knocked me off my balance point. And before I knew it, my whole world was spinning around, you know, and uh mm. and it and, and I became afraid distrusted myself my self-esteem took a hit i doubted myself me of all people why didn't i see this coming well it's because i want to see the best in everybody agreed it's just one of my little perks Same. and uh, sometimes people can get by on me because they know that about me and unless it really gets in my face i'm going to go on believing Sometimes good people do bad things and they can still be good people. But likewise, if we don't check our own checks and balances, like you said, if we don't check our own authority, we might notice that it's actually a bad person doing something good, waiting to return to being a, a bad person. You know, it, hmm. it, it kind of blends both ways. How does that go? That's the the wolf in sheep's clothing. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> something like that, right? Yeah, be the sheep in wolf's clothing. Just go for it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true when you when you trust the good in people, uh, and I never honestly, I never really thought about this until you just said it. That people know that more times than not, they know that Janice said you're a you're a good person you're an easy target for them to do something bad. Yeah. Yeah. I have to be, I need a keeper. I used to stop for a long time. I didn't want a husband. I just wanted to find a good keeper. You know, <laughs> <laughs> grab me by the scruff of my collar and drag me out of bar fights whenever else I opened my mouth. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. oh, but isn't but, it um, funny? Isn't it funny when you look at it this way? If you find the person you think you want to be with, they're a keeper. Ironic, isn't it? Yeah. Different yeah. keeper. Yeah. Yeah. Do you need like a gatekeeper to protect you from the, those who aren't that good or, or trying to prey on top of you because they know that you, you see the best in people and you're, yeah. you're expecting the best. That is why people like me, let's do the finger quotes, need to slow down and really be observant. Look at mm. Look at the clues. Don't just listen to the pretty words. Look at the situation. Yeah. You know, pretty, pretty words are cheap. Um, expensive cars, you know, they can also be very cheap disguises. You have to really listen when somebody talks. Look them in the eyeballs if you're able to. 
and see how their body moves, see how you react to their words, because you might be wanting to hear what you've always heard. And I don't think this is my case in this right at the moment, but this happens a lot too when one spouse is surprised because the other spouse is fooling around. They always expected the monogamy. And so they literally did not see it coming. They weren't looking for those clues. They didn't stop and reassess checking the authority that they went on. Hmm. They, and, you know, I did do this because this, I speak from authority here. Believing the best and ignoring clues kind of does leave us wide open. So even as we try to become more aware of our options, we need to check those options and make sure that they lead to where we want to go. Do you Once feel... It- now, based on on what we're talking about right here, do you feel deep down inside those of us who trust the good in others, and let's say it's somebody that could be bad, we almost go into denial. That can't be. They're they're nah. They're 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 good people. Nah, they wouldn't have nah. And usually we're wrong because we don't question the authority within. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's why my head is shaped like it is, because I didn't question. And sure enough, he was drunk. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, hmm. So I literally got you know physically abused because I didn't want to admit to myself what I saw. I wanted to believe what I heard. Right. Uh, so I didn't question authority right now. The reason that we need to begin questioning the authority that we believe our neighbors, our children, our spouse, our mamas, the world really is going through a lot of turmoil right now. People are losing what they thought they would always have. They're losing the homes, their kids. Our kids are no longer educated like we were. The secretary of education made sure of that. Civics classes haven't been taught, shop classes, home economics, basic life skills have not been taught to our children. We're ready. You're just waiting for a meltdown. The The sun is shooting off weird flares. You know, it's just a, those are things we have nothing. We can't do anything about a solar flare, but we could educate our kids. We could get our kids to start questioning authority more. And we should question it ourselves rather than relying on who we thought we should believe in, Hmm. whether whether it's political, whether it's educational, whether it's your mama, and whether or not she's going to loan you the keys to the motorcycle tonight. You got to question these things because their circumstances have changed. My circumstances have changed due to economic factors, the climate changes, the price of gasoline. Sure. I don't even know when the last time I had my nails done was somewhere last century. I think I don't really do it, but the wherewithal that other people have, what other people can offer in many cases is totally different than what they used to could offer. So to expect to get help from your sister, she may be in worse trouble than I am. Or you are without, and then pride is never going to let your sister spill. You know, she's never going to say, no, darling, I, I can't do it. I can't afford it. She's not doing that. Not my sister. So she will lie through her teeth and borrow somebody else's makeup, but she will not admit to defeat. In my neighborhood here, I'm blessed to live in a neighborhood of neighbors. I literally have neighbors whose families have been neighbors longer than this country has been a country longer or at least almost as long as virginia has been a commonwealth my neighbors have been neighbors in this same neighborhood for centuries now Mm. there's there's a i mean i'm in a really really sweet spot i am in the land of mothers and fathers and you mind your manners and you do what you're told and you know you pick up after yourself and you don't throw trash in the yard 
basic, I am surrounded by common sense. I need to move there because. No, you don't. I, Go I, to North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You don't want me there? I don't I, want anybody here. I don't okay, want to upset right, the balance. Enough. This is a golden balance. But, and, but and he, he, you know, I, I, I just want to say, I share this with you that I look at you know, areas like that, maybe a simpler way of life. That's And I, I recently heard this quote by Bob Marley, the reggae guy. And if you look at his lyrics, it's there's brilliant. a lot of there's a lot of good stuff going on in there that I, I, I think was underrated and overlooked. And he said before, um, and I even put this on my Facebook page. And I think it aligns with what we're talking about in terms of questioning the authority. Love all, love all, trust few, do wrong to none. That's right. And I would have never, if if you took me back, say, three, five years, uh, I, I was trusting everybody. Uh, and then you learn that you can't. So the, my takeaway on that is you do the right thing. But unfortunately, in these times, you got to just trust few. Unfortunately, doesn't mean you can't love them. It doesn't mean right. you got to trust them. That's right. That's right. We can live with people we don't trust. I mean, there are some of my neighbors that I love to just to tears don't like me. They will never like me. And I love that about them. Because. As bad as they don't like me, if you, as a stranger, walk over here and clobber me, you'll never make it out of the county. <laughs> Nobody will ever find you. No, no, no. They will come and rescue me just like I will rescue them because we are neighbors. And that is what neighbors do. Well, OK, you know, but but. But, but I'm a lucky spot. I know it's, I'm not normal. <laughs> well, no, I, I got you there. But but. um. Do you trust all of them fully? I trust them to do as their nature inclines them to do. Yes, I do have locks on things. Yes, I have fierce weaponry and sharp cutlery in my house. <laughs> because I trust their natures. Um, mm. and, and for that, I, I see, I recognize their natures. I grew up in a family setting with cousins and aunts and uncles from both of my mother and father's sides. We just all clamored in there together. And when we had a family reunion, there was both sides of the families plus their sides and hundreds of people would show up with pie. It was my favorite. Raised by a village I can relate to. Hmm. If I do something wrong, I'll find out about it. Somebody will let slip something and I'll realize I need to, you know, monitor myself there better. Or I'll realize I've opened my mouth. Oh, God. My neighbors, I love them. So often they lurk the other way and act like their hearing aid went out that day and didn't hear a thing. I have good neighbors. I'll go to bat for them. But it, I, I have to be more aware because some of their circumstances have changed like mine. So that I can't promise them what they can promise me and what they could promise me 10 years ago, they may not can promise me today. Hmm. All of this leads up, you and I were going to pick questions out of the jelly jar on your desk one day. And so I just, I, I asked spirit today what the answer was to today's question. Now we you forgot to I, do that. We forgot to well, do that. <laughs> It's like I did it anyway. I just plunked on in there and did it anyway. Pushed myself ahead. This is it. This is a great thing for each of us to be chewing on for this next few days. How often do we say, sure, hun, without checking? I'll give you a really good story. My little, my big I, sister. I think we're out of time, so I don't think Are we, we out of time? time? Oh, shoot. <laughs> well, you know, another we're time fast. I'll come. blame it on that, but. You know, do good, play nice, expect the best, plan for the worst, and then go check everything and make sure that you, you know, you're, everything's checked off your list. Mm. So, yeah, do nice. Love all, and trust, love all and trust for you. That's right. That's right. Smile and, just, and carry a big stick. <laughs> and just, I remember that from being a kid. 
And actually, yeah. Teddy, Teddy Roosevelt's house was about Sagamore Hill, was about maybe 30 minutes from where I grew up and, and still is, wow. you know, right around the corner. Yeah. Mm. I thought my mother made that up. <laughs> no, no. I was a you know, former president. Uh, Janice, how do we find you? What's what's the best way if somebody wants to uh, question your authority? Well, well, I've got a great website. It's Janice Reed www.janisreed.com. Uh, find me at the at um, the Facebook page, Janice Reed. Find me at Goddess Janice Two Dos. Goddess Janice Dos at Outlook.com. That's Outlook. Goddess Janice Two at Outlook.com. Um, set up an appointment. I do uh, these readings for other people. Give you your answer before you give me your question, please. Uh, that way, you know that you got a good answer and not just my opinion. Hmm. And we we did that previously, and uh, it's kind of it was spot on. Uh, and, and your website is really your name, Janice J A N I S R E E D dot com. I believe so. I better check hmm. that. But yeah, I think try that one out. <laughs> yeah, I got a question authority, Janice. So always- yeah. Question me, especially because I've been shaken, not stirred, shaken. Always great having you with us and uh, great talk today. I got to tell you, uh, you've, 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 I got to tell you, you open my eyes to uh, a lot in terms of questioning. And it's, I've always wondered about that, but we really need to even question yes, our ourselves. Own. Yeah, it's yeah. question ourselves. We question authority and we think about we're looking over there, but we should be looking in our mirror. Looking forward next time we talk. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcasts on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit HFOTUSA.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's. It's going to be okay.